give you a uh, quick tour hopefully you can hear me over the uh, state highway one up there uh, we're just down by the Waikato River here in Cambridge uh, nice usually quiet place to come and have a bit of quiet time near the water uh, living down this way the closest water is about an hour away um, and well to get to a real beach uh, you don't want to go swimming in the Waikato um, yeah so here's the MK Triton snorkel so that's basically, we've just got a hole down here, drilled straight through the guard uh, with a pipe going directly into the air box that's all siliconed in. Held in by about one, two, three or so uh, screws. Then we go up to the top here and uh, it's riveted into the A-pillar there, uh, which is the most terrifying thing you'll ever do um, if you're looking at modifying one of these SF5s. Uh, so yeah, underneath, down here, you can see the uh, low-hanging fruit that is our uh, red line exhaust. Um, it's a lot noisier as well compared to the uh, cast uh, original factory ones, but should hopefully mean it's a lot easier to get decent, non-constantly um, breaking up pipes, which are a bit of a problem. Uh, there you go, the uh, good old JDM Forester logo. Interestingly enough, this car does not have Subaru written on it anywhere, pretty much, um, apart from in the headlights there. <laughs> but uh, there's no blatant Subaru um, branding. Um, yeah, I did have to remove the factory splash guards from up on up here, and it's left a bit of some nasty marks. Um, they were had to basically I, I had to basically pull them off because they every time you put your hand up here you'd cut yourself um, so what happens we've got 20 year old plastic um, so yeah so that's the only place on the car it openly says Subaru on it uh, that's nice and blatant otherwise it's Forester everywhere uh, in the boot here got the nice blind cover Got the weird recirculating uh, cargo fan, which I've no idea what the purpose of that is. And uh, under here we've got all the tools, a few spare parts, an air compressor, um, no spare tyre <laughs> because um, Subarus don't like having mismatched wheel sizes and I've gone actually up a size. Um, my tyres are 215 16s and I'm looking to go to 215 70. 16s if I can get some SG Forester rear suspension to put in there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much her on the outside. Um, only a couple of niggly cosmetic things apart from up here obviously. We've got um, some missing trim here which fell off and nearly hit a gang member on the motorway. Um, down here that's not bolted in just because um, if you hold it there, you can't open and close the door easily, um, but that's no issue. Um, and we're just missing a few, a few of the factory uh, clips to hold in some bits of the front end here, but duct tape and zip ties do an amazing job. So yeah, so that's my uh, SF5, but you've enjoyed uh, watching the little bit of uh, video we have here in New Zealand and hopefully I will have plenty more video to show you in the uh, coming months so till then thanks for watching and um, yeah keep on trucking